I'm glad what? we're friends. I have something for you. Here. Wow. Thanks, Lydia. I am your sword and your shield. How about you follow Lead me? Lead the way. I walked in here and forgot what I was doing for a second. It seems this damnable conflict is... So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Jewelry to sell to Farngar. It's fine. Get a speech increase. Uh, let's see. That's just soul gems. Uh, okay. You know, if you've got the aptitude, speak. You should join the Mages College of Winterhold. My daughter Adrian wants to forge a new sword for you. Now, it wouldn't be a sky bridge. Okay. okay. So, uh, our loyal house Carl in tow. Let's head to High Hrothgar. Via Iverstead. Now, I believe it's much faster to go around. Um, You've been seen in the company of the companions. It's an honorable part you want. I've, I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. What do you need? And this will be the letter from the Jarl of Falkreef. And that is part of the Hearthfire DLC. Maybe you'd like to try the Orphan or something. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I believe it is faster to circle around the throat of the world to the south. Rather than the north. Actually, Instead of going through that loading screen, I should have just fast traveled right to Helgen. Just to get a bit of a head start. I think this path will, this road, will take me in the right direction. what armor I'll use for uh, the majority of the game until I get the ability to make the dragon scale. Because like I said, I feel like, um, I mean, role-playing isn't really a big part of what I do here. I mean, obviously I do read my character's lines, but other than that, I don't do much role playing. So I don't know if I want to uh, abstain from using elven armor. Or not. So I feel like there's not much light armor even in the game. At least not 
not that I particularly like. And I'm not going to go in there yet. So that is actually a vampire hideout. And uh, judging from how tough that master vampire in Whiterun was, I don't don't particularly want to tangle with any more at the moment. Oh, who's this? Dragons were never gone. They were just invisible and very, very quiet. Make the liar. Where bears? Where? Bears? Men that are bears? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think, yep, here we go. Iverstead. And this way. I think I got sidetracked again. I was saying that um, there's not many light armor sets that I really like in the game. I do like the elven set, especially the gilded set with the shoulder pauldrons. I think there's a skill book in here. Actually, I think that I always think there's a skill book in there. But in fact, there is not. But once again, anyway. Uh, I do... I do really like the Elven set. Oops, sorry, Lydia. Wow, that thing did a lot of damage to me. I guess one thing I could potentially do is um, level my smithing off screen. Uh, meaning, um, in just in my own time, without uh, streaming it, I would just work on getting my smithing up to 100 so I can make the dragon armor. And this cave here, Honey Strand, is full of bears. I think Lydia got him. Seems like there are still two more. Let's see if I can get some damage on them from a distance. Oh, it's just a wolf. Um, back to the light armor discussion. I'm not a big fan of the glass armor. I love the weapons. The weapons are beautiful, but the armor I don't really like. I do like, as I said, the elven is one of my favorite sets. I just don't know if I want to... if I want to use it, because I feel like it kind of goes against the light roleplay that I'm doing of sort of a true Nord, like I said. 
On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Klimek? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. What types of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I can imagine. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Be careful up there. And uh, one thing that I only just recently learned about this is that if you've done this quest before here, and I believe there are ten of them along the steps. And uh, if you read all of them, uh, you will get a unique power called Voice of the Sky, I believe. And where is Lydia? What that does is... Where did she go? Uh, what that power does is uh, make it so that animals will not flee from you or attack you. So basically the pesky bears and saber cats and such will not be hostile to you. And um, things like this goat or the deer or elk will not run from you. So, it could be very useful to have if um, you're a hunter. I was really hoping to have Lydia's help with this part, because it can be tough depending on your level. I don't know where she went and why it's not teleporting her to me when I wait. Maybe I just need to wait a little bit, because uh, depending on your level, this climb can be pretty tough because uh, uh, these ice wolves can be pretty tough if you have whoa didn't mean to wait quite that long but might as well okay uh, like I said, those ice wolves can be tough. And uh, you also have to fight a frost troll uh, at the top of the mountain. And there can also be ice wraiths on the way up. who are also a lot tougher than you would think. Actually, another interesting thing I learned just recently is that the magic anomalies that you encounter during the College of Winterhold questline are actually 